it's not just the nice thing to do or the right thing to do um, to invest in closing the gap of health inequity. The math actually works. It is fundamentally how you change health outcomes, particularly in our populations. And the reality is it's true across all segments, but it is more true within the Medicaid marketplace and Medicare um, and, and DSNP population. So if you know, we have started to collect, th there's a, there is sort of broadly data on this, but we see it very clearly in our data. So if you look at members who screen positive for a, um, a driver of health, so, so food insecurity, access to transportation, um, housing, education, childcare, um, there is a 20% delta in the PMPM uh, of those members. And so what you're, what you're talking about is the idea that if you invest in the right place, and we are we're essentially um, largely extensions of the government, right? We are stewards of taxpayer dollars, and we are asked to take those dollars and allocate them in a way that ensures access to high quality affordable health care, but also drives high quality affordable outcomes. And so, you know, we're in a position where we should be allocating dollars wherever it, ta it, it takes and wherever we should in order to get to that, those outcomes. Um, and when you look at the investments in those drivers of health, they fundamentally move the needle.